Christine. I'm Diane Rowden. I'm a Hernando County Commissioner. Well, thank you very much, Diane, and thank you so much for coming out to visit us. I'm Christine. I'm the founder and director of the Pay It Forward Farm. We're a nonprofit organization that helps single mothers and their children through life barriers. Um, we started this organization five years ago as a result of a dream that I had, and I felt directed in that dream to honor my own mother, who was a single mother for most of my life, um, and to honor her to start, and start this organization for single moms. Um, since then, we've helped dozens and dozens of women, um, and our, our goal is to help women through the barriers that they have, whether it's educational barriers, transportation, um, confidence, uh, lack of skills. We try to identify what are the obstacles that are keeping them from moving forward and help them through those obstacles. Many times uh, women, and, and, and anybody, men, women, children, are held back by just a small thing. So a lot of times if we can just get them past the obstacle of getting a driver's license, getting a GED, going to college, if we could just get people past an obstacle that keeps them from doing that, then they flourish. Our philosophy is to give a hand up and not a hand out. With me today is Briar, one of our, our ladies from the farm. Briar has come to us from Australia last year in October, uh, and I met this lovely lady, and I knew that uh, we had a journey we had to go on together. And uh, in six months, um, she said, you know, I see you going to college. And um, I'm in college today. That's wonderful. And I, um, after talking to you, I think a lot what you do when you say pay it forward, I believe you go out in the community and you're teaching these young women how to help others, which comes back to them. Is that absolutely, what I'm absolutely? I think that's one of the greatest ways to grow your confidence is to help others, because to see others that are, are less fortunate than you and to help in the community is huge. So we have, all of our women are required to do paying it forward hours every month and during the summer we go out in the community and pay it forward with our children every week. So we do things like um, pull weeds for an, an elderly lady in her garden. We go out and pick up trash off the road. We've visited veterans. We went to the hospital and gave gifts to all the new moms at the hospital. And soon we're going to be out doing Stuff the Bus with the United Way. So we want to teach the children as well as their moms to pay it forward into the community. And what was your big obstacle, Briar? Um, I think meeting Christine uh, since, since I started over, uh, restoring my confidence because I, I never had the kind of confidence that I needed. Uh, even though I had the knowledge uh, without the confidence. It's been interesting with Briar with her college classes. She just had to take algebra. And she kept telling me, I don't do algebra, I can't do algebra, I'm terrible at math. And I, so I tutored her and um, we spent a lot of time in it. And now she made a B minus in her algebra class. And she, she's actually a kind of a mathematician. You know, Christine, Briar is, is wonderful. Um, listening to this story today and I know there's many many more mm -hmm. um, and I just appreciate what you're doing to help our young women and in our society mm -hmm. and again you know we're all chip in and help each other Absolutely. our world is a much brighter place thank you and God bless to both of you thank you to Diane